Hi friends, this is a 600 watt powerful automatic hot air blower that takes only 10 minutes to make and costs $10, which I will be showing you how to make today. This is a 600 watt hot air blower, usually sold in electronic stores for about $5. You can use it to blow hot air or solder electronic components, solder paste chips very conveniently. This is an automatic control circuit for a hot air blower. The thermal control capacity is up to 1000 watts, including airflow adjustment, hot air temperature adjustment. The components used on the circuit are common types, but work very reliably. The temperature of the hot air blower can be adjusted from 0 degrees C to 550 degrees C. With this temperature, it can easily burn a piece of paper as you can see, after just a few seconds of exposure to hot air, the piece of paper caught fire. Now I will try with the tin wire that I usually use to solder components. Let's see what the results are. Tin wire easily melts after a few seconds of exposure to hot air from the blower. This is necessary to be able to solder and remove chips from electronic circuits. I will introduce you to the inside of the blower and how to make a hot air blower after the introduction video of my partner JLCPCB. JLCPCB provides easy, affordable, and reliable PCB and PCBA solutions, empowering electronics engineers to develop projects efficiently. With 19 years of PCB manufacturing expertise since 2006, running five cutting edge, in-house factories and serving over 5.48 million engineers in 180 countries and regions. Order PCBS from JLCPCB effortlessly. Upload your Gerber file to get instant quote and order in minutes. It's as easy as online shopping. PCB customization, component sourcing, stencil manufacturing, and high precision assembly all in one place. Get 1 to 8 layer PCBS for just $2, efficient large scale production reducing costs and bringing you unbeatable prices. Quality and lead time is reliable. All in house production, ensuring quality stability and strict quality control in every process. Rapid turnaround, lightning fast PCB production in just 24 hours. Don't miss JLCPCB 6 layer PCB special. Get $30 off with a coupon and enjoy top quality 6 layer PCBS for just $5. Plus, to you enig finish and no engineering fees for via and pad. This is the result after one week box and PCB circuit from JLCPCB. The circuit looks very sturdy and nice. The circuit is designed in one layer, with the components showing the value on the top. I have shared this circuit in the description of this video, please check it out. This is a hot air blower, I will take it apart to see what's inside. There will be wires inside. The yellow pair of wires is the heater wire with a voltage of 220 volts, the power of 600 watts. The red and black pair is the temperature sensor. There is also a magnetic sensor here. This is the electric fan blowing air with a voltage of 20 for volts DC. Adjusting the speed of this fan will adjust the flow of hot air blown out. These wires will be connected to an external 8-pin jack numbered from 1 to 8. The functions of those pins are as follows. Inside this will be a heater wire wrapped around a cylindrical ceramic core. A temperature sensor will be placed here. Heater resistance value is about 80 ohm. Power is about 600 watts when running at 220 volts. Temperature sensor resistance is about 0 ohm. This is a thermocouple type.
This is the output with pins 1 to 8, connected with the function as shown in the figure beside. This is the circuit after I completed some components like resistors and capacitors. The components need to be installed in the correct position and value before connecting to the power source. This is the completed circuit with two separate temperature and airflow potentiometers from the blower. The resistance values are 10 kilo ohms and 5 kilo ohms respectively. The main chip used to control the circuit is ICLM358. The airflow control chip is ICLM317 with the output connection shown on the circuit. After receiving the signal from the temperature sensor, ICLM358 will compare it with the set value from the temperature potentiometer. Through the optocoupler MOC3020, it will control triac BTA12. The air blower temperature will change according to the set value. A 2 amp fuse will be installed here for protection in case of failure. The connector jack has been connected to the wires for easy connection to the circuit. The circuit will operate on to power sources 24 volts DC and 220 volts AC. Be careful of electric shock. Circuit principle of the circuit. I have shown you how to make a hot air blower. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe my channel. I'll see you next time.